This is KB and welcome to the Afterlife Season 3 server, where today we are finally raiding a Guardian Temple, which needs to become a Guardian Farm, because we're gonna have a shop down the line to sell the loot from the Guardian Farm. But all of that needs to happen today, though not all of it can happen today. I don't know if we'll have time for the shop itself. But first things first, I need to collect some tools and some weapons and some things I need to successfully raid this Guardian Farm. So let's get prepared before we actually go to war. I've collected everything we can possibly need and we are ready to go raid this temple. And I can just show you, this is what I collected. Got some slimes and TNTs and redstone blocks, furnaces once we get the sponges from the inside, good coal, got a bunch of torches, some milk, uh, water breathing, invisibility, night vision. I upgraded my boots to have depth strider and mending now. My helmet has aquafinity and respiration. So that means we are absolutely ready. You can see I have backup boats in case I die, because uh, KB does that every now and then. I've set spawn right here. This island is lit up. We are absolutely ready to raid this Guardian Temple. I think at this point I just need to mention I haven't raided a Guardian Temple in probably three to five years. I'm not sure how long it's been. It's been very long, so this may go very bad, but let's go for it. Let's grab some potions here so we are ready to go. We have eight minutes on these potions, so hopefully I can get things done in this time. I've left my elytra because I would rather have more armor. And now I just need to remember where these spots are. I know right at the top there will be one spot. And I'm going to use the TNT method of blowing a hole to get straight to the Elder Guardians. That's what we want to do. So I think we'll go straight to the middle. And then I'll hop off right here. We have mining fatigue and... If the entrance is that side, I'm guessing the best would be just to open a hole right here. I don't know if that makes sense, and now I just need to figure out how to do this. I am supposed to be invisible. Or doesn't it work anymore? Let's see if I can blow a hole into this dude. Seriously? There we go. Okay, let's get him. Let's get this dude. Kill the guardian. And don't get killed. <laughs> so I may die because I, like I said, I haven't done much of it. I at least have some golden apples, so that helps a lot. Can you just, just die? Just die. <laughs> okay, first one is down. Let me grab some some food. Th they're not supposed to be able to see me, or are they? Um. So I think that. No, 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 no. Um, I'm gonna blow a hole on this side between that. I don't think it's very good getting attacked this much. Hey, look at that. And then we'll go straight in here and kill the dude down here. I think I shouldn't do anything with him with his spikes out. I'm not sure. <laughs> I can't remember. So far this is going well in... Don't die, KB. I know about going around pillars and things, so let's do more of that. Stop it. Okay, two down. One is left so let's go out and we go straight over to the other side i really thought these dudes wouldn't see me with the invisibility but that must have been changed i guess and uh we make a hole right here i don't know if it's too forward is it should should be fine. We are we are good. Okay. Don't shoot me, dudes. Don't shoot me. Let's kill him. The final guardian to kill. Then we are free. 
to clean out this place, to clear the water, and then uh, get rid of all the guardian spawning. This was way easier than I thought, though I, with, with being prepped like this, I did think it was going to be pretty easy. But there we go. We have cleared and killed all of the Elder Guardians. So what I'm going to do next is start clearing out this water. But I do first need to find the sponge room because I don't have any sponges. So we can actually take a swim through this place. Try not to die and find some sponges. We are back on land here because there's a problem. There's no sponges in this temple. Nothing. So that's a problem. I need to figure out how to clear this water. And the only thing is probably to raid another temple to try and find the sponges there. I don't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll get back to you once I've figured out what to do. So I ended up raiding another guardian temple and no sponges but at least Mr. Yu is on now and he said he has some sponges I can borrow he is at spawn at the moment so I'm gonna fly over there and we can borrow some sponges from him now where is this Yu bone there he is awesome okay let's land and see what he has for us I wonder how many sponges, because I don't have a lot of sponges on me. That's uh, 34 sponges. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Yu. Obviously, he has to run. 34 sponges? I'll take it. So, remember, we have to give that back to him. But at least now we have enough sponges, and we can go and clear out all of the water. <laughs> what what just happened there? You can go clear out all of the water in the Guardian Temple. As you can see from that time lapse, I cleared out all of the water from the Guardian Temple, but I went ahead and also cleared out all of the blocks. As you can see, I brought my beacon over. Now we have all of this clear space. But the problem is that causes so many Guardians to spawn above the temple in the water, so we need to clear out the water anyway. And I started building a wall that goes around it, but now I ran out of sand, so I need to go to the desert to collect more sand. As you can see, I've made some, some progress here. I have built a full perimeter of sand walls around this space. But now I realized, after clearing out just this bit of water, is this is going to take a very, very long time, and we won't be able to, to finish it in the next one, two, maybe three episodes. So I'm going to continue doing this off-camera, because the biggest problem here is the guardians now spawn in big amounts in the space because I removed some of the water. And that, obviously now there's not that much. That is a big challenge, a big problem here. So as I said, I'm going to continue working on this off camera. And once it is done, we will create another episode where we start building the actual guardian farm. But on that note... That is going to do it for this episode. I'm going to be experimenting with some short episodes now. We'll see how that feels, how that goes. You can let me know what you think about having shorter episodes versus having longer episodes. 
Which do you prefer? Which do you like? I think I can make shorter ones more entertaining. I think. We'll, we'll see. But yes, if you enjoyed this episode, feel free to give it a like. If you're new here, you're welcome to subscribe. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time.